Then the second one is that now we have we are here because we have to the graduates. You know, as a numeric figure is about something like 25,000 activity teacher graduates, every year they come out from about 350 to 400 activity colleges. And how many of the people, how many of the, what is the percentage of these 25,000 graduates who are taking up agriculture as a main profession there? So, with my past experience and expertise, I thought that, I, you know, why can't we use ICT methods to, you know, uh, build competency among the agriculture graduates and to bring back them. I have now, you know, launched an entry-level program in agriculture informatics for the agriculture graduates and also non-agriculture graduates who have got interest in agriculture rural development. You know, this is, is the course work, the service has been worked with experts, you know, we had about three to four national level prize on the session. And this course is now going to start from next June, but when it has been, uh, you know, announced in various international forums, there has been a lot of requirements for a public Then also that, you know, the, you know, now you have heard one lakh IT students come out every year from these institutions. And now from 23,000 crores of national governance plan, now it has been hiked to more than one lakh you know, 20,000 crores. But all the institutions who teach that computer science are not involved in design and development of e-governance systems. And this is, you know, the, you know, the, you know, human, you know, resource, the human capital are not even involved. They are in the kind of campus for four years. And they are not involved in, in, uh, in any way, in the, in the, even in a small way, in building the e-government solutions from the bottom of process for the government. The government institution, which I have seen, and that's why I always used to say that I, even though I have a written document, I am the culprit for, for giving a written document for e, you know, e-government e in 1987. And today it is becoming like a bringing in the hardware and bringing in network and so on and so forth. Nobody gives any, you know, importance for building information system. Today technology is available, but we don't have an information system. And this is, you know, and how to use that. We didn't have network at that time, so everything was shut down. But now we have uh, many things that we have mobile phones, smart mobile phones, and you know, network is not an, you know, you know, by now it's easily available, but how to use this ground level institution to and study the problems which is existing in the ground level and build up information systems and solutions. Right. So I have initiated this program of engineering.